Hey guys, Ozzy back. How's it going? So I am pretty excited. I just got done watching the first episode of What If, uh, the new Marvel show on Disney Plus. Um, it is a. It's all going to be canon to the MCU. So anything that happens in this is canon with the characters. So a lot of what they're doing is using a lot of the voices. This is an animated show, but what it's doing is taking. Any of you who are comic book fans know of the What If universe. The What If universe is basically a universe where anything that can happen in the comics can. Uh, things like Captain America being a bad guy, uh, Iron Man not making, not being Tony Stark, but being someone else in the suit, um, the Hulk being purple instead of green. There's a myriad of different things that could happen or that are in the What If universe, uh, and what Marvel has done now is created this show to go along with the MCU, um, which has been expanding, ever expanding, with Loki, WandaVision, the Falcon and Winter Soldier, as well as uh, as well as all the uh, movies that have come along. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to add the animated universe into canon as well and make this a whole overarching uh, universal thing. But as of right now, the only animated thing that is actually going to be canon is this new series. So what happened in this series? Um, this was the first episode. It aired today, today being Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday, August the 11th. Wednesday, August the 11th of 2021, and today was the first day that there was an episode of this new Disney Plus show. Um, basically, it was retelling the origins of the first Avenger, Captain America, but from the perspective of what if Steve Rogers was not Captain America? What if Peggy Carter took the Super Soldier Serum and became Captain Carter? Uh, so it pretty much follows a lot of the same plot points to begin with as the original Captain America First Avenger movie. You see the Allied forces fighting the Nazis, um, and there's some kind of program going on where they're trying to make a super soldier out of a young man, a young Steve Rogers. But in this instance where Captain Carter had the option to either leave or stay, she chooses to stay, and then events transpire. All this to make one super soldier. Steve! Um, the bombing that was stopped takes place. That's the moment. It has to be now! That created a whole new hero. Steve gets shot and cannot fulfill the duties of getting in and being Captain America, so Peggy chooses to get in. So for a while we follow Peggy and we see what she's going through fighting in the war with the Howling Commandos and Bucky Barnes and all that. And then they need some help and as they call in, we hear Steve come over the comm saying that he's coming in, and he comes flying in in some old-looking, like, almost Iron Man-ish armor, which they call the Hydra Stomper. Uh, it's really cool. You, you see that Steve, no matter what, still has it in him to become a superhero and wants to be a superhero and take care of people. He is not all about himself. He wants to take care of people. So it's good to see that the qualities that we impart into Steve Rogers as Captain America are Steve Rogers and not something that is just that super soldier serum or whatever. So he becomes this Hydra Stomper. Peggy is this Captain Carter now. Uh, and they're fighting the things, and the Red Skull gets his hands on the Tesseract to try to open an interdimensional portal, which brings forth this tentacled monster that Peggy has to fight. Um, 
Sorry guys, the puppy decided to come down, so she's laying here on the floor with me now. So, Captain Carter has to fight this thing. Um, Steve is running out of energy, and Howard Stark, who is there as the technical person, is trying to shut down this portal opened by the Tesseract in camp. <coughs> and the only way, the only reason why he can't is because the monster is holding the portal open, so Peggy decides to push the monster back through the portal to save everyone. And in doing so, she ends up trapping herself on the other side. And she doesn't get brought back to reality, to our reality. What if? Streaming Wednesday. Until Fury and Hawkeye reopen the Tesseract portal in the current time, 70 years, almost 70 years since the battle. So Captain Carter is now stuck out of time, like Steve Rogers was when he was Captain America in our reality. Uh, so it should be interesting. I hope that they don't just do one-offs. I hope that when they find certain story arcs that they like, that they do multiple parts of it to show the aftermath of more than just the initial thing of when someone gets whatever happening, you know, um, like so in this instance I hope that they follow up at some point and show what happens with Captain Carter forming the Avengers. It'd be interesting to see how different the Avengers would look with Captain Carter at the head of it. So, guys, if you haven't already, please go down to the bottom, smash that thumbs up like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And if you're enjoying these videos, please feel free to leave me a comment. And if you did both of those things, liking and subscribing, why don't you just go down in the corner and find that notification icon and click on that. That will let you know anytime I upload new content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Ozzy out. Bye.